the jury, Dame McKerry to Canawath. Then the chairman of the BBC Trust, Chris Pack. Deputy Lord Mayor of Cardiff, Councillor Margaret Jones. Fellow jury members, Dame Felicity Palmer, Hawken Hager Gore, Marin Hoffmeister. Pear Boy Hanson. Really a wealth of experience in that jury. And their chairman, Nicholas Payne. No sweat bar. Good evening and welcome. Froiso. It has been a magnificent evening's concert to crown a truly memorable week. are so many people to thank for the parts they have played in making a success of this event. Especially the 20 singers, all of them. Because they have all contributed some wonderful performances um, during the course of the week. Our orchestras, BBC National Orchestra, right? and also the Welsh National Opera Orchestra. And our conductors, Jun Merkel and Graham Jenkins. I want to offer special thanks to my expert colleagues on the jury for their dedication and hard work and most of the time harmony. <laughs> and you, the audience, for the extraordinary warmth and attention you give and which you offer to all the performers and which makes the difference about this competition. Um, it really plays a major role in what happens. Thank you. Dion. This event is supported by the City and County of Cardiff, who are represented this evening by the Deputy Lord Mayor, Councillor Margaret Hodge, who we also welcome. And this brings me to the audience prize, for which the winner has been chosen by all of you. I now invite Lord Patton, Chairman of the BBC Trust, to present the Dame Joan Sutherland Audience Award. Good evening, no spice star. I'm really delighted to be here this evening. 30 years after the very first BBC Cardiff Singer of the World final was held in this wonderful concert hall. Today, it's rightly regarded as one of the world's most important music competitions. And it's the result of a remarkable and long-standing partnership between BBC Cymru Wales, Welsh National Opera, and the city and county of Cardiff. This past week has seen extensive coverage across the BBC and as well as offering audiences the opportunity to enjoy the remarkable talents of so many young singers, the BBC has also given viewers, listeners and online users 
the chance to choose their winner of the Dame Joan Sutherland Audience Prize. The prize reflects the view of audiences here in St David's Hall and across the United Kingdom who voted for the singer who most impressed them in the concert rounds. The winner of the audience prize and the winner of a cheque for £2,000 is Ben Johnson from England. So English tenor Ben Johnson wins the audience prize, the Dame Joan Sutherland audience prize, named after this competition's great patron, supported by the Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama. Mary King, you're delighted. I'm absolutely delighted. It's a prize for artistry and poetry and song. Really, 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 really beautiful. I'm thrilled. Well, Ben Johnson, I know very disappointed that we didn't make this evening's final. Formed as a song prize final, which you can still watch if you missed it via the iPlayer. But he is victorious tonight, the Dame Joan Sutherland Audience Prize. Tenor Ben Johnson. So Nicholas Payne now returns centre stage, and I think we're finally going to find out who's won. A very good choice. <laughs> and a surprising one here in Wales. <laughs> Just like you, we as judges have really enjoyed listening to the many talented singers being given the opportunity to hear the singers of the future. People ask what it is that makes a finalist or a winner of this competition. And the answer, I suppose, is an amalgam of all the qualities you heard from the five singers this evening. Beautiful and exciting and memorable sound, command of vocal technique, musicality and words, the ability to colour and make a little world out of a song or a programme. Because what we're seeking is someone who can communicate with an audience, because that is the passport to becoming, having a great career in opera. As you can imagine, it wasn't an easy task this evening. But we've reached a decision. I would now, I would now like to ask our beloved patron, Dame Kirita Kanawa, to announce the name of the winner and to present the Cardiff Trophy. BBC Cardiff Singer of the World, the first prize and the most amazing prize goes to Jamie Barton. Yeah. She's done it. American mezzo soprano Jamie Barton wins the title BBC Cardiff Singer of the World 2013. Only the second time in the competition's history a singer has won. Both the song prize and the main prize. Mary King, right from the moment she came on stage back on Monday night in the first round of this competition, she clearly had something very special about her. She owns the stage, she communicates with her whole giant, her glorious soul. Fantastic. She's presented the Cardiff Trophy by Dame Kiri Takanawa. Kata Mantler. No complaints, good winner. And she will have a career as soon as she wants it. Sorry? She will have a career as soon as she wants it. She will have a career for sure. Absolutely marvellous. She chose so skillfully. Her repertoire choices were absolutely stupendous. Brilliant. It's great news. She's been an incredibly positive force around this competition. 
always smiling, always laughing, seemingly not showing any stress whatsoever. Someone who, every time she's been on stage, has radiated enjoyment, whether in rehearsal or whether performing in front of the judges. Yes, absolutely. She has total confidence whatever sort of music she is singing. She's moved deftly from one style to another, one language to another. It's very, very impressive. She has her hands now on the card of trophy. When she won the song prize, she cried at this point. Tonight, she is smiling. And here come the other finalists. Teresa Romano, Marco Mimitsa, Daniela Mack and Olena Toka. Well, after a week celebrating the solo voice, we leave you tonight with 2,000 voices in unison to sing out with great glory this 2013 BBC Cardiff Singer of the World. We will be back here in 2015. Who will be Cardiff Singer then? From all of us here in St David's Hall and Victor, Jamie Barton. A very good night to you. Till next time.